On Monday, March 25th, members of the Lehigh community gathered at the Packer Avenue intersection to silently protest the administration's alleged mishandling of Professor Monica Miller's reports of sexual misconduct against Professor James Braxton Peterson. Miller alleges that the university dismissed her reports of sexual harassment dating back six years before Peterson came under investigation in an attempt to uphold an image of a racially diverse faculty. Protesters first formed a blockade across Packer Ave, preventing oncoming traffic from progressing. After police intervened, the protesters moved to either side of the crosswalk and crossed as cars approached. The protest came as the result of a call to action by senior Laura Day Felice. How I felt when I first heard about Monica Miller was disappointment, but also not surprise. What inspired me to take action really push for an actual protest was the fact that I've noticed a lot of times when things like this happen, people get overwhelmed with the what do we do, and then nothing ends up happening, and then our voices and our upsetness and our feelings are not heard. So I think this was just us trying to actually put words to what we were feeling and but visibility to what we were feeling, so then it wasn't just something that got swept under the rug. Going into it, I, I like I said in the initial message, I was like, I can just be there by myself. Um, because either way, I wanted it to be clear that people will be there regardless, so I did expect there to be people. I didn't expect it to be that many people, so that was exciting. What I want students to take away from this is that if something happens on this campus, which it will, you can use your voice to protest it and there will always be people who will have your back. Lehigh's actions and Lehigh's words are not congruent, and so a lot of the principles Lehigh says they stand on, their actions don't show that. There are things that have been ingrained in the fabrics of this university that need serious addressing. The marginalizations that happen on this campus impact you, period. When people are saying that something happened and it's affecting them, like listen and realize why it matters because it doesn't just affect you as an individual, it affects people. Something that I want the administration to take away from this is that if they don't hold themselves accountable, we will. So if they want to, they should. And that's something that we want to see. Um, I want them to know that we're paying attention. If they hold themselves accountable, we can move forward, but as long as they continue to pretend, hey, we're committed to doing this thing and then doing something else, we will continue to protest. Is there anything else you want to throw out there before the camera stops? This is not the last of us. That's all.